Now, here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Brian Madrick. Here's a look at your headlines for Saturday, October 8th. Police examine Excelsior Springs home for a second day. This comes after the Clay County Prosecutor's Office charged Timothy Hazlitt Jr. with kidnapping, rape, and assault. Police got a search warrant Friday after a woman reported being kidnapped and sexually assaulted there. Police say Aslett could face additional charges if evidence of more crimes is found. A Paola, Kansas man is in Miami County Jail after reportedly stabbing his brother over a sandwich. Miami County Sheriff's Office says it happened on Lone Star Road near West 319th Street. Investigators say that one brother accused the other of eating his meal. The argument turned physical and one brother reportedly stabbed the other in the leg. The victim is expected to recover from his injuries. Today marked the fifth annual Truce to Palooza celebration. UMKC and Truce Market Collective teamed up to bring the festival to Kansas City. The event aims to bring people together, elevate local small businesses along Truce, and showcase creators in Kansas City. Your forecast is next. Thanks, Bryant. We are looking at some great weather tomorrow. 72 by noon, 77 at 5 p.m. Not as cold tomorrow morning as it was this morning. Not expecting any frost or light freezes. How about 80 on Monday? That's great because the Chiefs play the Raiders Monday night. So 80 at 5 p.m. Kickoff is 715, about 72. And then 65 at 10 p.m. Chiefs may win there 38-21. And then after the game, clouds will increase. And it could lead to some rain. A 60% chance there on Tuesday, especially in the morning, becoming windy as well. And then 72 Wednesday, maybe another chance of some rain. Quarter to half inch, maybe an inch of rain. That'd be great. Not going to really end or dent the drought, but it's better than nothing. And it's the main rain chances the next 10 days. Have a great Sunday.